Okay, I'll give you some time out before I go clean your house up. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this stuff. Not really. I'll never be too old to love my snake. There's your deeper. Your deeper's over there sleeping. You wanna say hi, Deef? No, you deeper. There you deeper. Say hi, Deef. Deeper, Chewy's out. There's your buds. There's your buddy. There's your buddy. Is that you? Is that your buddy? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. There's your pal. Yeah. Oh, that, that, chew, that Chewy. That Chew. Huh. Yeah, that's your buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's going to get up because she knows Chewy's out. No, you're not getting on my shelves. No, you're not. And what? Is that Chewy? Is that Chewy? Huh? Your buddy's out. Yeah. Your pal's out. You're going to get up off your pillow and come visit Chewy. Yeah. Is that Chewy? Is that your buddy? Hi, Dee. What are you doing, girlfriend? Huh? Yeah, is that Chewy? Chewy out? She loves Chewy. I get you're under my armpit and your nose is cold. There's your buddy. There's your pal. Yeah, he is. There's Chews. You gonna sit on him? <laughs> nah. Yeah. You're glad to have Chewy out, huh? Is that your buddy? He's on my shoulder. Yeah, there's Chewy. Yeah, real dangerous snakes, aren't they? Can't you tell? He just wants to eat my cat. <laughs> and hey, Chewy, what's he doing? He's going to tie a knot around you. We can't have that. No, we can't have him doing that. He's a lot stronger than you are. Yeah, there's Chew. There's your buddy. There's your pal. Yep. <laughs> what a pair you two make. Oh my gosh. See, no interest in my cat at all. I don't advise people to do it. These guys grew up together, so they're friends. You know, there's no issues between them. Chewie's being rambunctious today. He's getting in everything. You stop. You stop. You're not getting up on my shelves. Yeah, and that's your pal. There's your buddy. Yeah. Yeah. That's your Chewy. I'm gonna give him a bath. He doesn't like your tongue. Chewy doesn't like your tongue. It's scratchy. Yeah, that's your Chewy. What? You are a wiggle worm. Snort. He snort. You're gonna give him a bath. Oh dear me. Oh dear. You give my Chewy a bath. Hmm? Yeah. He's gonna go get back in the tote now. <laughs> they don't stop moving very often. Carpet pythons don't. No, you can't do it that way. You're going to have to go in it, not on the edge again. Is that your buddy? Is that your buddy? It made your day, didn't it? Chewy's out. Ugh. You're a big ogre, Chewy. Yes, you are. You're shedding terrible. Look at you. You're shedding terrible. Yeah, my snakes and my cat get along great. I'm sorry people can't accept it and they have issues with it, but that's just how it is and how it's always been. And maybe it's because I keep a stress-free environment and maybe it's because I show them equal time and I, I there's no reason to compete against each other because they all know they're greatly loved by me. What are you doing? You're not going to poke me in my nose with your tongue. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, my. You always get on my camera. Why do you do that? Go play. You going to go there and pest your deefer now? You going to go get your deefer? Yeah, you better look out, deefer. That big snake's going to kill you and eat you. Right. You can tell he's getting ready to shed. His face is poofy. You're going to shed pretty soon, huh, Bowhead? 
Yeah. Just a big kid, that's all he is. No different than a cat or a dog. Just a big baby. A really big baby. <laughs> what? Oh, God, just looking for something to get into, and it's killing me because she won't let me get into those shelves and knock all of her books down. I said, no, she won't. So you're mean, Mom. Huh. So I won't let you get into my stuff and knock everything over. Hey, Dee. Chewy's full of it today. He wants to get into everything. He already went after my coffee and my vanilla creamer, and he's trying to get in my shelves behind my bed and knock everything off them. Mr. Hypersnake today. Yeah, that's your Chewy. Yeah, that's your Chewy. No, I don't advise people to force a snake and a cat together. Like I said, mine grew up together, and it's always been mutual respect between them. It's, you know, it's not something I've had to concern myself with, but they're always closely monitored because just like any other animal, or even like people, you have good days and they have bad days. Thank goodness mine all have really good days and very few bad days. I very seldom have a bad day with any of my snakes or my cat. Not together. I've never had one. They always get along great. What? I'm, you know, you realize I'm 67 years old. And I've been doing this for a really long time. And I love you to death, but you just love to wear me out. Yes, you do. <laughs> You're determined to flip that toad over. That's your deeper. That's your deeper. That's your deeper. I'm already tired, and all I did was take you out. I gotta go clean your house. What? Yeah, that's chewy. There's your buds. There's your buddy. Yeah. I should have got dressed before I started this expedition. I gotta strip his house out, take his perch out, strip his papers, disinfect his bottom floor. I do that every time my snakes make a mess. I disinfect it with the wheat, chlorine, and water combination. What are you doing now? Now he's digging through the plastic tote trying to find something to get into. Very curious animals. And this is my worst friend right here, this little prehensile tail. Why are you nudging me? Huh? This is my worst friend right here is that prehensile tail. Jade, my female, uses hers to beat me with it. She loves to whack people with her tail. Chewy uses it to grab hold of everything that he possibly can when I'm walking around with him, holding him. He uses that tail to anchor himself onto everything in my house. Do I have to watch him really close so I don't pinch his tail on anything? Like my front door, which we've come close on a few occasions to doing. You ready to settle down now? So I just can't find anything to get into, dang it. That's all he's doing. He's trying to find something to get into. Mischievous. They're very mischievous animals. What? Can't find anything to get into? Deeper gave up and laid back down. What's the matter? You can't find anything to destroy? So there's nothing in this plastic tote. I can have fun wrecking. That's not fair. Here it comes again. You gonna come back out? You're paying my butt. Hi, Dewey. Hi, Dewey. Hi, Dewey. Hey, Dewey. Even close to a shed, you know. I can touch his head. He has no issues with it. Hi, my Dewey. He's my bubbies. He's my bubbies. Huh. Yeah, and I talk to them like they're my kids because they are. I love them to death. Peek. Peek. Come on up. Come on. Oh boy. No coffee. Hang it up. You're huffing. The house is really warm for him. He doesn't like a lot of warmth. He's he's really a funny one. He won't get right on his heat pad. He will get to the side of it. He just doesn't really like intense heat on him. Most snakes don't, actually. You put it at a safe distance so it doesn't overheat the bottom of your tank or your enclosure, then you're fine. But 
Snakes get on a warm spot and they'll sit on it and a lot of times they won't realize they're damaging their scales and their skin by being on intense heat like that. So you really have to monitor your heating pads. Keep tabs on them so your snakes don't get burned on them. Even though they're safe for reptiles, they can overheat glass especially. Just a piece of advice for people. I've seen it happen to a lot of people that have snakes. You have to be really careful. You have to monitor your heat source for your snakes. Especially if they're lazy ball pythons and love to sit on their heat. You back again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What can I find to get into today? <laughs> You're lucky my coal's better and I've got a lot of energy today. 